Now let's see this example. Design a Turing machine for our palindrome. So we know what is a palindrome string. The reverse of a string is equal to the given string. So here the string is A B A B A. So if we reverse A B A B A, then we will get A B A B A only. So this is an example for palindrome string. So likewise we can take n number of strings. But length of the string is odd. Here what is the length of the string? 5 characters. So before A B A B A, before the string, we can have n number of blank spaces. After A B A B A, we can have n number of blank symbols. So blank symbols are denoted by capital B. So here we are assuming that this is our string. So instead of this string, we can take uh, any other string also. There is no problem. Okay. Uh, so let us construct the Turing machine. Parallelly, we will see the logic also. Uh, so initially, let we are at uh, uh, Q naught state. Let Q naught is the initial state. Initial state. Let we apply A on Q naught. Then the corresponding A is the corresponding A is change it to B and move the read right here towards the right. So initially we are at A. So now if we read A on Q0 then that A will be converted into the blank symbol. So this A will be converted into the blank symbol and move the head towards the right till we get the blank symbol. So let us move the head towards the right. So now we are at this position. So let the state now is Q1 let us say it now is Q1. So if we apply any number of A's and B's on Q1, then don't change A and B. Keep them as, as it is only. So if we apply A on Q1, then keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right. Likewise, if we apply B on Q1, keep the B same, but move the head towards the right. Okay. So now we are at B. So if we apply B on Q1, then keep that B same only, but move the head towards the right. So till we get the blank symbol. So now we are at A. So don't change A, but move the head towards the right. So now move the head towards the right. So if we apply B on Q1, then don't change B, but move the head towards the right. But move the head towards the right. So now if we read A, then don't change A, but move the head towards the right. Move the head towards the right. So now we are at B and Q1 state. So next, if we apply blank symbol on Q1, then keep the blank symbol as it is only, but move the head one position to the left. So next, move the head one position to the left. Keep B as it is only, but move the head one position to the left. Okay. So here the leftmost symbol, that is the starting symbol is A as well as the rightmost symbol, that is ending symbol is also A. Okay. So let us assume that now we are at uh, Q2 state, we are at Q2 state. If we read A on Q2, then, then uh, convert this A into the blank symbol. So this A is nothing but for this corresponding A, this is the A. Okay. And move the head uh, towards the left till we get B. Okay, till we get the blank symbol. Uh, so let me are at uh, uh, Q2 state. So if we apply A, then, then change it to B and move the head towards the left. So let me are at Q3 state. Let me are at Q3 state. So now we are at uh, B. So next, if we apply any number of A's and B's on Q3, keep them as same only but move the head towards the left till we get the blank symbol. So if we apply A on Q3, keep it as A only, but move the head towards the left. If we apply B on Q3, keep it as A only, but move the head towards the left. So B, keep it as A only, but move the head towards the left. A, keep it as A only, but move the head towards the left. So B, keep it as A only, but move the head towards the left. Next, we are yet blank symbol. Okay. If we apply the blank symbol on Q3, it means that one symbol is over. Now we have to read the next symbol. Okay. So go to the blank symbol. Go to the Q0 state. So if we apply B on Q3, then don't change B. Don't change B. But move the head one position to the right. 
So we are at Q3 state. If we apply blank symbol and Q3, keep it as same only, but move the head one position to the right. But move the head one position to the right. So now we are at, at this position, at the at B. So now if we read B or Q0, uh, let us uh, draw one more path just like uh, this here. So if we read B on Q0, then change it as the blank symbol and move the head towards the right till we get the blank symbol. So translate this one into blank symbol and move the head towards the right. So till we get the blank symbol. So let the Q3 is over. Let the next state is Q4. So if we apply any number of A's on Q4, then keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right. Q4 is just like Q1 transition. Next, uh, if we apply B on uh, Q4, keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right. A. Keep it as same only, but move the head towards the right. B. Keep it as same, but move the head towards the right. Move, and move the head towards the right. So now we have B. So if we apply blank symbol on Q4, it specifies that end of the state. So we have to move one position to the left. So let the next state is Q5. Let the next state is Q5. Okay. So move one position to the left. Move one position to the left. Already the second symbol from the left is B as well as the second symbol from the right is also B. So now what we have to do? This B is translated into the blank symbol. So we can make a correction like this. So here A is translated to B. Here B is translated to B. So let us translate, let us convert this B into the blank symbol. Okay. So we can draw a correction like this and then if we apply any number of A's and B's on Q3, don't, don't change them, uh, but move the head towards the left till we get the blank symbol. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, this B is converted to blank symbol and then we have to move towards the left. So now we are at Q3 state. If we apply A on Q3, then don't change A, but move the head towards the left. So now we are at uh, Q3 state only, but the input symbol is B. So if you read B on Q3, then what will happen? Don't change B. Don't change B. But move the head one position to the right. So move the head one position to the right. So now we have A or we can have B. Why? Because this is an example for odd palindrome string. Odd palindrome string means it is an example for W, W power R. Let W means A, B. Let W means A, B. I'm sorry, here in between W and W power R. We may have either A, B or A or B. Let W is A, B. Then what is W power R? B, A. So in between A, B and B, A, we can have either A or B. We can have either A or B. Why? Because of what the string mainly contains two symbols, A and B only. Or we can write as W, B, B power R. So that means in between uh, uh, W and W power R, we have B. So likewise, we can take any string. Let the first symbol, let the first string is A. Then the reverse of A is A. So in between A, A, we can have either A or B, okay? So if we have A, then we will move in this path. If we have B, we will move in this path. Here we have A, so we will move in this path. So if we read A on Q0, then what will happen? So we have to convert this one into the blank symbol. So all the symbols are uh, uh, translated, converted into the blank symbol. So we can say that it is all palindrome see? Let us check whether the diagram is correct or not. So after changing this over, after translating into the blank symbol, move the head towards the right. So now we are at this position and we are at Q1. If we read B on Q1, then what we have to do? We have to move the head towards the left. So let us move the head towards the left. Let us move the head towards the left. So now we are at Q2. So we can say that uh, uh, we don't have any other symbol. All the symbols are translated into the blank symbol. So here we have blank symbol. So if we apply blank symbol on Q2, then don't change the blank symbol and move the head either left or right. It is our choice. Then we can go to the final state. So Q5 is over. Let Q6 is the final state. So this is one path. So let the let the uh, in between uh, the symbols, in between the string and reverse of the string, let we have B. Then what will happen? From Q5 we have to go to, go to the blank state. We have to go to the final state. So Q5, if you read blank symbol on Q5, then don't change B. Uh, but move the head towards left or right, it is our choice. So this is a palindrome string, that's why you got the final state. Suppose if it is not a palindrome string, then we may get either Q1 or Q2 or Q3 or Q4 or Q5. Here this is the Q, 
Q6, Q6 is the firing state. So we can say that this is our driving drum state. Our Turing machine is correct only. So likewise, we can design a Turing machine for our driving drum. 